I'm, I'm taken as I listen this morning to the various discussions on the topics that uh, those four topics from, uh, from Athens are still very relevant today. Uh, and as, but, but as I listen to the various discussions on each one and how each topic has evolved over the four years, I'm also struck by the fact that there's been a recognition within each one that it cannot be looked at in isolation, but rather is part of a broader fabric, and that the IGF represents an opportunity for not just an isolated discussion of one stakeholder group, but for all stakeholder groups, and not a discussion of one issue, but many issues, any issue that we would like to discuss, and not even all issues, but to look at them in terms of their interrelationship and the interdependencies that exist. And so you heard today about how we started with the discussion of openness, and then the openness linked to security, and it linked to issues of privacy, and how all of those had to be looked at and their relationships. And it may be that within different cultures, you come to different conclusions with regard to how that interaction, what's the best operating point for each one. But recognizing that inter interdependence and the relationship, I think, is, is, is very important. And I think the panelists this morning brought that out as one of the strengths of the IGF, a place where you can literally discuss any issue. And I think uh, Jeanette's point about uh, the, the process here at the IGF of, of what we have learned in terms of introducing a topic that at, during the WISIS and in the first IGF seemed uh, to be uh, something that people were, were you know, very reticent to engage in, the issue of uh, critical internet resources, but it was put on the, on the table at the, at the second IGF, and it's been a continuing subject for discussion at subsequent IGFs, and even though it was very controversial and there were concerns about introducing it, we learned quite a bit. We learned, I believe, that it's the non-decision-making nature of the IGF, it's the frankness and openness of discussions at the IGF that allow us to do that. If we had a situation in which we were going to have negotiated text on a subject that was controversial, the nature of that discussion would be much more inhibited. If we want to, in fact, have a frank discussion to allow for the fact that we have here in this room and in the, the halls surrounding it, leaders from all of the stakeholder groups within the Internet Governance Universe, the Information Society. So we have the opportunity to engage them, to learn from them, and to provide our views to them. And the best way we could take advantage of the next several days is to have that open discussion. And that is only possible if we have a situation in which we do not have to worry about negotiated text and the decision making is, is not part of the process. I, I think as our colleague uh, Hong indicated though, it's very important that that not mean that we not have people that, that make proposals, provide their ideas, because those are all important to us as leaders we, as we go back into our individual communities to be informed over the next year on what we think will be the important issues and how those might best address the uh, issues as we've learned about them here. A, uh, a, a couple of closing points that I, I would make. Uh, one is the fact that over the last year, well, if we, we go back to the WISIS to 2005, there were about a billion users on the internet, and today there are about 1.8 billion users. In 2005, at the time of WISIS, there were 2 billion mobile subscribers, and today there are about 4.6 billion mobile subscribers. Tremendous growths in those, almost doubling in the sense of the internet and, uh, and more than doubling in the case of the mobile subscribers. Over the last year, we have added another 200 million internet users and about another 400 million mobile users. So we can reasonably expect over the next year to have comparable sorts of growth, an additional 200 million internet users and 400 million mobile subscribers. And so as we are here today and over the next several days discussing the issues, we have to recognize that given that this is the collection of the leaders within the internet governance community, the organizations that are involved in it, we have the opportunity to, to shape how those additional 200 million internet users and, 200, and 400 million mobile subscribers, the kind of services, the kind of environment, the kind of information society that, that they will have in years to come. 
And so I think that's a unique opportunity for us. And, and so the capacity building that we do here and that you've heard about, I think is critically important to each of us to provide us not, a not only a chance for us to share our views, but to learn from others.